Hey guys, how are you doing? This video is long overdue. I promised you I was going to show you how I renovated this kitchen and transformed it from this to this beautiful kitchen that I absolutely love right now. So this is my kitchen right now. This video was taken yesterday. Uh, it was a little bit new <laughs> when I did the tour, but you know, it has started to age. But I really did transform this kitchen in two weeks and I want to show you exactly how I did it and how I planned it. Uh, it wasn't something that we planned already. It was something that happened because of the fire. Now, in, uh, in December last year, we had a really bad situation where we had an electrical fire and it was, you know, out of the blues. Thank God nobody was hurt. Thank God it went out by itself. But, you know, it did come with a significant damage to the kitchen so i saved up some money and you know after two months i decided to renovate so we took out the cabinetry i called in my guy his name is gojo he came sent people they took out the cabinets and from there i knew that there was no cooking for me for a month so i already planned i already ordered food put it in the freezer and then called the tilers they came and they started removing the towels from scratch you guys this was a lot of work it actually took a couple of days um i did not envisage the type of work that was going to come you know with removing tiles because we had to practically rewire the kitchen like <laughs> you guys it was not a small thing you know because i wanted to like move around the appliances so we practically had to rewire again okay so this was the next day they had you know, plan to walk back to back. There was no, you guys, they were sleeping in my house, in the kitchen. They were sleeping outside rather, but they, these guys were walking day in, day out because I told the Tyler, guy, I have no kitchen. And you know that me and my food, we are five and six. We need to get this work, you know, going really fast. So these guys were here day in, day out. They even had shifts. People would come in the morning and others started to come in the evening. They took out every single tile in the kitchen and they, they plastered it all over again after the electrical um, fittings were placed. We actually had to put in new wires um, in the spot that had the electrical fire. So this is the kitchen all plastered, ready for the tiles. I went to really market to buy tiles, you guys. I bought the Spanish tiles, the ones that... Um, are rainy now and those are quite pricey as i when i got these towels in march 2022 they cost around 12,900 per square meter and we required 85 square meters for this kitchen because they were big a lot of them were wasted because you know they had to cut off some parts just to follow a pattern you know so that the kitchen wouldn't look very tacky but i was happy with the result it looked really nice they they knew what they were doing you guys it was really tricky tiling that pantry and you know those divides but they really did a fantastic job it was neat it was smooth everything was looking nice so this is 85 square meters of tiles a lot of them were off cuts and then we got the plan for the kitchen all sorted we had a lot of exchanges a lot of changes so these were the 3d uh images from my carpenter and we agreed on these images we went ahead and then brought in the wood. So the next day they brought the wood and then we started the work immediately. Like these guys, they brought their clothes because they were sleeping here practically. This is Kudus, the one uh, with the striped shirt. He's my favorite because it was very hardworking, very committed. I gave him a timeline. I was like, guy, you have to finish this kitchen in two weeks. I was like, no, well, I'll be there yet. So this guy was practically under the sun, cutting, cutting every single day. This is outside my house, you guys. They turned outside my house to a workshop and they practically did work in shifts they would rest in the afternoon continue again sometimes i would find them working at night these guys were so dedicated because i told them you guys i have to cook i film content in my kitchen my kitchen is everything to me so you, you need to worry, hurry up so all the stuff in my kitchen you know were already in the living room so you can imagine the chaos in my house at the time we couldn't enter the house through the kitchen we had to enter through the you know the living room and it was just chaotic but i really appreciate the effort that these guys put into this job because they worked for seven days straight no rest they practically slept at the kitchen like at night they would clear the floor 
take everything outside, lay their bed and sleep with their mosquito net. Like that's how bad it was. <laughs> so once the cabinetry started, you know, going up, we started fixing the appliances. We had the AC guy come in. He fixed the AC first. And then we had the kitchen craft people come in to fix the hood and um, the rest of the stuff. But, you know, the point is, I got people that were willing to put in the work and just come in, spend the time. I didn't want a situation where someone will go and come back. And, you know, this can easily spill into three months of work because I remember how terrible my first kitchen was. It was practically almost six months of chasing carpenters all over Lagos. But these guys slept at my side and they got the job done. Like everything, even the, the electricals for the cabinetry, the lights, the LED lights, they had the electrician come in and he pretty much fixed everything. Because the DB of my house, that's the, the main outlet, is in my kitchen, we had to do a lot of rewiring. So here's the pantry. They pretty much cut everything on site and fixed it on site. So I was really happy with the outcome. They had brought in all their tools you know thankfully that we have light 24 hours where i live so there was nothing like oh no light there was always light and then the light fixtures started coming in we started fixing the light we started getting everything back into their place it was so amazing the woodwork cost around 4m and that is excluding you know the sink the appliances uh, the, the marble um sorry the quartz <laughs> Uh, excluding everything, these quartz people, they really made a mess when they fixed the quartz. It was annoying to clean. Like, it was this white residue left everywhere. So we had to employ professional cleaners to come in, clean everything. We fixed the door back, fixed the sink, fixed everything else. And, you know, we had our kitchen back. My <laughs> children were exhausted, you know, after the first week of, you know, not having a kitchen. But I'm very happy that we actually have this kitchen now. It is so functional. This footage was from yesterday. Very functional kitchen. Everything we possibly need is here. I already have a tour. So you guys, you could go watch the kitchen tour just to see um, what the kitchen looks like now. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how long we spent renovating the place. And I hope this inspires you to, you know, renovate if you don't like what your space looks like. You could break it down and build it back up.